Hello again, welcome back everyone. Liquor Hound here with you. Thank you for joining me once again for another video. And today we're going to be doing an update to the very first video that I ever shot, which was the My Complete Bar. Now, since then, that's been several years ago, I've been adding and adding to my collection. And what was not shown in that video was actually I had to add a second, smaller shelf. It wasn't quite as big as that first one. Uh, to the side, and I started putting my bottles on there. Well, as we moved into this new home, of course, all those new bottles and all the bottles that I had stored up went on, of course, new shelves, and that's what we have there behind me. So as I light up the shelves, because they're on this little bitty remote, uh, we're going to go through and talk about each section, you know, what have I added, uh, just kind of show you how I've got them segmented, so maybe, you know, if you're starting your own collection, you can think about how you want to segment your own bar. So again, I hope you enjoy this video, and we're going to cut to the bar right now. So we'll start way back here in the back, and I'll tell you that you know now I have three of those shelving units of uh, the original one that was in my uh, complete bar, the first video, and they're all three tied together. And I have a total of 1401, which includes all my back stock. I actually have 873 in the bar, individual bottles. I have another 528 in back stock, so that equals the 1401, which I was very, very happy uh, to surpass the 1400 mark just the other day. Now, as far as how I have them segmented, I do have my Irish whiskeys right up here in the top left. I only have 17, so I just try to be careful in my selection. Napo Castle 94, 95, Turconel, the Madeira Cast, Connemara, Cast Strength, Red Breast 12, 12 Cast Strength, 15, 21, Green Spot, Jameis's Rarest Vintage Reserve, Bushmills 21, and the 1608 Bushmills Anniversary Edition. Sliding over, we're going to get into my Scotch whiskeys, including uh, the first region, which is going to be the Highlands. A wonderful Highland distillery is going to be Glen Morangy. I do have quite a few of those, including the old Port Woods and Madeira casks and Fino Sherries and so on. Uh, we have the Dallas Dew here, some Dalmore 21, Old Pultney 21, Idrid 14, some Longmorns, including the old Longmorn 15 that's discontinued, and a wonderful new release from Longmorn. Uh, it's actually a 17-year-old, sorry, from Signatory, <laughs> a 17-year-old that is completely matured in sherry butt. So as you can tell by that red hue. Going down a shelf, we are at the Space Sides. Uh, Glen Rothes, Capradonic, some Imperials back there. Balvini, one of the most famous Space Side distilleries, including Triple Cast 16 and the Ton 1401 lineup. And those are batches 3, 5, 6, and 9 back there. The single barrel sherry cask, which just released this year. If you're out there, keep an eye out because, again, you're going to be looking for these, which are first fill sherry, and you can tell that by the red hue. They also make a refill sherry that doesn't separate which one is which. You have to go by the color. Try to find the first fill sherry. All right, some uh, Highland Parks back there. St. George, 30th anniversary. Uh, some unique weird ones here. Single grain from Strathclyde, 29-year-old. Texas single malt from Balcones. Uh, we have some uh, spring bank back there. Now we're working into some Isles and some Islas. Buna Haben, Buna Haben 23, Bowmore 25. Oh, got to mention this guy. Buna Haben 24 from Berries. It's available now and it's tremendous. Uh, some Lefroigs, um, Brook Lottie, the Ardbeg, Corbrek, and Yugadal. Alligator. Uh, what else back there? Ardbeg Day. There's a few others. Scrolling down, we're into the blends. So, Chevis, 18, 38 year old, the Stone of Destiny, the 21, the Century of Malts, some Ballantine 17, some Compass Box, including Flaming Heart, Spice Tree, Oak Cross, and the General back in the very back, some Black Bull, 12 year old and 40, which I need to review for y'all because that's fantastic. Uh, Johnny Walker. And now we're getting into some world whiskeys, including the Amrit line back there. Fusion, Intermediate Sherry, Peated. Uh, some Nikas, some old Nika back there. Old Centauri up front, the Reserve. Now some current releases, the Hibiki 12, the Nika Takatsuru 21, the Yamazaki 18, and the Yoshi 15 back there in the very back. Now as far as my single malts and my world whiskeys, uh, I think right now on my single malt scotches, I have like 122. World whiskeys, it's pretty low. It's only like 10, 15, somewhere in there. 
Now we get into my brandies, including some cognacs, some armagnacs. Uh, not very many again, only about 12. Hennessy Paradis back there, one of my favorites. And then we get into my vodkas. I have a total of 96. They take up about a shelf and a half. Beautiful beluga gold line right there. And then we have a few more. Heading into my gins. Ransom Old Time. Love that stuff. Nolas. Very unique. A lot of rose hips in that one. Beautiful gin. Mayfair. Very clean gin. And lastly, we're getting into my liqueurs. Now on my gins, I almost forgot to mention, I have 16 of those. And in my liqueurs, I have 42 right now. Including that very old white Campari. Behind that, the regular Campari, Aperol. Some Chartreuse I see. Fernet Branca. Grand Marnier. St. Elizabeth's All Spice Dram, Benedictine. And you kind of need some of these to make, you know, some really nice cocktails, including that very wonderful Camparno Antica uh, Sweet Vermouth. It's unopened, so it can be there. Now we're into Canadian whiskeys. Uh, right now on the Canadian whiskeys, I only have 20, including those Wiser's, some Canadian Club 30 back there. Very old uh, Crown Royal cast number 16, which was beautiful back in the day. All right, now we get into some American rice. Jefferson's 21, 25, Five Fathers from Old Pope, uh, Old Portrero from the 18th century style right there, and the regular old, back behind that, the straight rye whiskey. And we get into some Tennessee's back there, Jack Daniels, Dickel, right into some White Dogs. Maker's White, if you're at the Maker's Distillery, you need to grab that. And that rolls us into my bourbons. Now again, try to move slow here. Have a few shells. And I do combine my count as far as my American whiskeys. That includes all my Tennessees, uh, my bourbons, my ryes. And right now I have 241 American whiskeys. So looking at some Evan Williams single barrel vintage line, Colonel E.H. Taylor's. Woodford Reserve, Master's Collection, and the Complete Parker's Heritage line. One more complete line would be this Pappy Man Winkle up there, everybody's favorite. And some Four Roses, 2009 Mariage, 2010, 2012, and 2013 Small Batches, some Limited Edition Single Barrels, and some of their Private Selection Single Barrels. Now in this case, I like to keep some of my rare bottles. Jefferson's 30, uh, Booker knows private selection that he actually gave out as gifts that were never for sale. Uh, black and gold, Prohibition, Hirsch 16 year old, uh, the Grand Buderos from Patron is back in the very back, along with Charvet's 27 year old Brandy. Now here we have Jim Beam, Distiller's Masterpiece line. Uh, right up front, of course you have the brand new, uh, last year released, the PX Sherry No Age Statement. Behind that, I have the Portwood 20 and the 18-year-old Cognac finish. And there I have a few of the antique collections, Stag, Weller, Eagle Rare 17s, and some regular Weller, Weller up front, making our way into the tequilas. Now, as for my tequila count right now, I have 182, and I have about four, four to six mezcals mixed in here as well. Porfirio Barique. Shelf. Fortaleza, beautiful stuff. Tequila Canicas, if you can find that one, that's very high value. El Tesoro, white labels back there. Herradura, Selección Suprema. Some more Herradura. Fina Estampa, really nice stuff. And Rey de Copas, that's again beautiful. Uh, not too many t people talk about that one, but that's a beautiful tequila. Partida Reposado. And now that leads us into my rums. A very, very rare rum right here. Buffalo Trace, 17 year old rum marriage. And there was only 300 of those released from Buffalo Trace. Uh, Pritchard's private stock in their line there. Appleton's 2130 and Master Blender's Legacy. And some more rums. RL Seals. Vizcaya. Planters Gold from Pirate, and the British Royal Naval Imperial Rum right behind those Mount Gay 1703s and the Extra Aged. 
So that's it for my collection. I hope you enjoyed this video and this update. Uh, we'll be doing more and more reviews from this location from now on. Again, everybody, thank you for your patience. Have a great evening and cheers.